Lesson 6. A Simple Animation To follow along with this lesson, download the project and code for OpenGL Lesson 1. In this lesson, we create a simple animation with OpenGL and GLUT. We begin with the code from OpenGL Lesson 1, which you can download from the link on our Lesson 1 page. To start, we add these two variables to the beginning of the program. The variable posx controls the position of the x-coordinate of our points, and delta x determines the rate of change in the x-coordinate. These variables will control our animation. Our original code drew a diagonal line like this, with the x values 0.25 and 0.75. In this program, the x-coordinate values of posx and 1 minus posx will be used instead. We will change the value of posx to change the x-coordinates of the endpoints of our line segment. Finally, we add this code to change posx and redisplay the line. The first line adds delta x to the value of posx. This next if alternates the sign of delta x to keep the value of posx between 0 and 1. The last line we add is a call to the function glut post redisplay. Now if we compile and execute the program, we see our animated line segment. Posx is the x-coordinate of the lower endpoint and 1 minus posx is the x-coordinate of the upper endpoint. So the endpoints always move in opposite directions. The value of delta x changes sign every time posx reaches 0 or 1. This keeps the points moving back and forth. The animation is controlled by an implicit loop. In our main function, we pass the draw function pointer into the function glut display func. This sets draw as a callback for events that cause the window to be redisplayed. So when the window gets uncovered, for example, a message is sent to redisplay the window. When this redisplay message is received, the draw function is called. Inside our draw function, we called OpenGL drawing functions. Then we make a call to GL flush. GL flush causes all the previous drawing calls to be executed. After this, we update the values of posx and delta x. These changes cause the drawing to change the next time the draw function is called. Finally, we call glut post redisplay to send a message to redisplay the window. This will cause draw to be called again, which completes our animation loop. Visually, the animation loop works like this. When the window is first drawn, a message is sent to display the window in the client area where our OpenGL graphics are drawn. When the message reaches the front of the message queue, it gets handled and causes the function draw to be called. This in turn posts a redisplay message back to the queue after redrawing the scene. When that message is handled, it calls the draw function again, which posts another redisplay message. This creates our loop and generates our animation. This program is a simple illustration of messaging. There are several issues with this animation that we will address in upcoming lessons. For example, the speed of our animation may run much faster or slower depending on the speed of the computer. Of course, we would prefer to write code and have it run at the same speed on all computers. That subject will be taken up another time. For now, you can control the speed with a quick and dirty hack by increasing or decreasing the value of delta x to increase or decrease the speed of the animation respectively.